Over the past two nights, we've shown how the cystic fibrosis drug Trikafta can literally save lives and change the quality of life for patients dramatically. Tonight, as we bring our Because It Matters series to a close, we focus on what happens if patients don't get the drug. National correspondent Patrick Gower reports, and a warning, this story is confronting. Isaiah Tooze is 20 years old. He is not expecting to live much past his yeah. 21st birthday. Yeah. Don't. I, I'd probably die. This is the brutal reality of cystic fibrosis, which has been destroying his lungs. <laughs> Coughing, you know, five, six minutes. Never going to get this out. This is just how I die. And, you know, you're coughing so much, you're not taking any air in. Um, so it's just, it's scary. The disease clogs up your lungs with mucus, wearing them out and making it harder and harder to breathe. <coughs> Even getting down the stairs filled Isaiah with fear. <coughs> down the stairs. <sighs> How did you feel when you got to the top of the stairs each day? It was dread. It was scary. Then he got a four-month supply of the drug Trikafta. So much better than before Trikafta. I'd still be there. It's, it's a miracle drug. It's, it's changed my life so much. The problem is Trikafta costs over $430,000 a year. Luckily, Isaiah was donated this one-off supply by an international organisation called CF Vest for Life. $467 a pill. And the pills are going fast. He only has 40 days left. Can you afford any more? No, God, no. I'm very, very lucky to have what I do have. There are no other options, not even a lung transplant. <coughs> Um, I wouldn't survive on the um, operating table. Trikafta has had remarkable results for Bella Powell. It's been a miracle. And for Ed Lee. This is the miracle. For Isaiah, the miracle is getting to live. I will die without Trikafta. Less than six months, less than a year. His friend Juliet Hubbard died waiting for Trikafta last year. She was 36. And she wanted Trikafta? Yes, yes, she was... It's the only thing. It's the only thing that could help her. It's the only thing that had a chance of helping her, but she couldn't afford it. So unlucky, just couldn't live. Didn't have enough money. The problem is that Trikafta isn't publicly funded. So on behalf of the 530 Kiwis with cystic <laughs> fibrosis, Isaiah is calling on the American drug company Vertex, drug buying agency Pharmac, and the political leaders that know about the drug to help. Just want them to care, please. Care, just care. But for Isaiah, there is the realisation that any help for him yeah. may not come in time. <coughs> It's going to be a battle. It's going to be a fight to stay alive. Boy, that's a tough watch, all right, Patty. What are the options for Isaiah? Is there any way he can get more of the drug? Uh, sadly, there are not many options for Isaiah. There is no kind of compassionate consideration discount from Vertex that has been given in New Zealand as yet. And Pharmac says it does have an exceptional circumstances category, but that is for people that have different circumstances to people with the same condition. Now, what you saw there with Isaiah is just exactly what happens to anyone with cystic fibrosis, so he's unlikely to fit that. As for the overall funding of the drug, remember there's that bureaucratic red tape where Vertex hasn't even applied to Pharmac yet, and Pharmac has told me that even when they do, it will take months, so that is unlikely to save him as well. He is in serious trouble when those 40 days are up, because believe you me, his family does not have the money to pay for any more of that drug. But momentum is building to get funding for the drug here in New Zealand. There is a petition out there to the New Zealand Parliament that has just ticked over 20,000 signatures. Pressure is building to help those Kiwis out there who are dying from cystic fibrosis without this drug. National correspondent Patrick Gar. Thank you.